let us solve a numerical example for fault calculation using the bus impedance matrix now here we are given a very simple power system of three buses and the reference bus we are told that the voltage before fault are e a double prime is equal to e b double prime is equal to e c double prime is equal to 1.05 angle 0 degree per unit various reactances are given and their admittances are written since it is easy to first find the bus admittance matrix so i have converted all the impedances into admittances also now it is told that there is a bolted fault at bus 1 okay now what we are asked we are asked to determine the fault current and we are asked to find the current between bus 2 and bus 1 after the fault occurred now you see that before the fault occurred in the system all the voltage sources were equal okay so this shows that there cannot be any current flowing into the in the network why because in any loop if this is the voltage rise the same voltage drop will be there in the same loop so there cannot be any voltage drop along the loop so there cannot be any current flowing between the in, into the impedances also so in any loop we can see that there can be no current present when these three voltage sources are equal in values now when this three phase fault occurs at the bus one then there will be a fault current first by this voltage source and second by this equivalent network on the right side so i can calculate this current easily using the network theory but for a big power system having number of buses the calculations will increase if i use network theory or the methods of network theory so what we will do we will try to solve it using the bus impedance matrix first what we will do we will find the admittance matrix it is very easy j is common so what is y11 it is nothing but minus 10 minus 5 minus 15 what is y12 just 10 what is y13 0 similarly i will write other rows 10 minus 20 5 0 5 minus 9 now using the calculator i have already inverted this so z bus will be inverse of this and it comes out to be j is outside 0 0.1088 0 0.0632 0 0.0351 0 0.0632 0 0.0947 0 0.0526 0 0.0950 0.0326.1409 so this is the bus impedance matrix for the given network now we know that the fault current for a fault at bus 1 will be simply if double prime is nothing but the voltage at bus 1 before the fault occurred it was nothing but equal to a double prime divided by the Thevenin impedance at bus 1 which is nothing but Z11. So it is nothing but 1.05 angle 0 degree divided by J0.1088 and it comes out to be minus J9.6 per unit. Now I know that this is equal to minus of I1. Okay, I have found this current. Here I have found 
the current which is flowing into the fold this is if double prime okay so this is equal to minus of i1 okay so it implies i1 is nothing but j 9.6 per unit now i can find the change in voltages at various buses v1 delta v2 delta v3 delta the change in various bus voltages due to this fault current is simply the z bus which is 0 0.1088 0 0.0632 0 0.0351 0 0.0632 0 0.0947 0 0.0526 0 0.0351 0 0.0526 0.1409 into the various currents j 9.6 j is outside here 0 0 now solving this using a calculator although without calculator also i can easily directly solve this i will find that the change in voltages at various buses is nothing but given by this matrix equals to minus 1.05 angle 0 minus 0 0.606 angle 0 minus 0 0.337 angle 0 degree okay it implies that I can find the final values v1 final v2 final v3 final is equal to v1 prefold v2 prefold v3 prefold plus v1 delta plus v2 delta plus v3 delta okay now v1 v2 v3 prefold were just 1.05 angle 0 degree 1.05 angle 0 degree 1.05 angle 0 degree and now v1 delta v2 delta v3 delta are already known now 1.05 angle 0 minus 0 0.606 angle 0 and minus 0 0.337 angle 0 degree okay so from this i can easily find the final values of v1 v2 v3 final values is equal to 0 volt per unit 0 0.444 angle 0 degree per unit 0 0.33 1.05 minus 0 0.337 0 0.713 angle 0 degree okay now i know the final value of voltages at various buses you can clearly see that voltage at bus 1 will be 0 because it is shorted to the reference okay so i can easily find various currents also like the current from bus 2 to bus 1 can be easily found out as v2 minus v1 over the this impedance j 0 0.1 it is nothing but 0 0.444 divided by j 0 0.1 and it comes out to be minus j 4.44 per unit so in this way i can find all the currents in the power system just by simple calculations using ohm's law so you see that the bus impedance matrix is very useful during fault calculations and its importance is more and it is increased when the number of buses are higher in the power system that is more the complex power system it is there uh, easier will be the calculations using the bus impedance matrix the only issue is to find the bus impedance matrix either we can find it just by inverting the y bus 
or we can find the bus impedance matrix using the bus impedance building algorithm which we have studied in our previous lectures also. So if you find that this lecture is helpful to you then please share and subscribe my youtube channel. Thank you.